How to route a custom ROM based on AOSP or CAF running on the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can route a custom ROM which is based on AOSP or CAF running on the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. So I do have the POCO F3 which right now is running unofficial build of Lineage OS. Now what are the prerequisites for this video? Well you do need to have TWRP recovery installed and we are going to use the TWRP by Vashisht. How do you install TWRP on your POCO F3, Mi 11X or the Redmi K40? Video for that can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need is the Magisk APK. We are using Magisk version 23.0 apk which is the latest at the time of recording this video and again link can be found in the description of this video so we have the folder opened in the file manager here it is download first of all select this file make sure it is selected three dot menu on the top right and say copy to and the target choose it as download and then say copy once this is done we have a copy of the file so now we are going to select the file one more time and we are going to rename it and we have to give it the name uninstall.zip so here it is we have given it the name uninstall.zip we have removed the extension of dot apk and then select ok why are we doing this we are doing this because if you run into any issues after rooting you can flash this in your recovery and you should be back to a bootable device which is not rooted next up we need to boot into our custom recovery which is twrp so first of all turn off your device and then once the device is turned off press and hold power and volume up together and once you feel the vibration you can let go of the power button so pressing and holding power and volume up together once you feel the vibration you can let go of the power button keep volume up pressed and there it is we are booting into our custom recovery which is twrp by washisht here in Another thing you can do to keep a backup of your current boot or your current kernel is you can go into backup and on the next screen select boot and you can also change the name over here. So let us change the name to say lineage alloyth and we can add over here kernel and then just tap on the check mark on the bottom right and say swipe to backup this is going to create a backup of the unrooted boot with twrp injected next up tap on the home button go into install and then navigate to the folder where you have the magisk apk do note the newer versions of twrp are capable of flashing magisk as an apk you can only flash magisk as an apk you cannot flash any other file as an apk so select this file and then on the next screen make sure you uncheck this so you have to uncheck the inject twrp after install when you flash a custom rom you keep this option checked but when you root it you have to make sure this option is not checked that is inject twrp after install is not checked and then all you need to do is swipe to confirm flash once the file has flashed successfully we can scroll up make sure we got no errors so here it is we are flashing magisk version 23.0 apk there were no errors we got the message done next up select reboot and here and select system now while the device is rebooting a pro tip for you whenever you are flashing a custom rom boot into the custom rom once before flashing magisk again if you're flashing a custom rom on your device boot into the rom once to make sure everything was performed or everything was installed without any errors your rom is booting and once you've booted into the rom once then you can go ahead and install your magisk and root your device anyways we have booted back into our custom rom which is lineage os this is our application drawer and pretty soon we should have the magisk apk show up and all you need to do is wait for some time and there it is magisk showed up in case it does not show up all you need to do is go into files and then you can go into download and install the apk explicitly just tap on it it is going to install it anyways we are going to open this magisk you can see it is saying upgrade to full magisk to finish the setup download and install at this point you do need an active internet connection and select ok because it is going to download the latest magisk go into settings allow from this source go back and install the application and once that is done we can 
open Magisk and at this point our device should be rooted. So there it is, Magisk version is 23.0, the app version is also 23.0. Do note once you root your device, safety net might not pass. So here it is, safety net is failing and how do you pass safety net on a rooted device? We do have a video for that as well, which can be found in the description of this video. So we have successfully rooted. Now, what if you want to unroot your device? As easy as going back into your custom recovery, which is TWRP. So turn off your device, press and hold power and volume up together. And once you feel the vibration, you can let go of the power button and you should boot into TWRP recovery. So there it is, felt the vibration, let go of the power button, volume up was still pressed. We are in TWRP here and you have two options to go back to your unrooted ROM. Either you can go into restore, select this and boot is selected, swipe to restore and then reboot your device you should be good to go or you can go into uh, install and here and select the uninstall zip and again inject twrp after install should not be checked and then you can swipe to confirm flash on your device will be unrooted which method do i recommend i recommend that you restore the backup of boot which you had taken just to avoid any issues and there it is peeps that is how you root your poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 which is running a custom rom based on aosp or caf and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you